Welcome back. After the user types a message and sends it, it's going to be immediately displayed here. And we want to add some animation so that it looks a little bit better. So here, if I type how are you, and click on send, as you can see, it is going to be displayed immediately. We want some kind of animation or delay, and we can accomplish that using the animate function. So inside the send message, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some animation here, message element, and then dot animate, and then an array of what we want to do. Let's say that we want to use the easing, and then we want to ease in, ease in, and we also want the opacity to be 0 0.4, and then we want it to be, we want it then to be opacity only 1. So it's going to initially start with 0.4, easing in, and then it will become uh, one and the duration in which this is going to happen is let's say here an object and then duration let's say we want that to happen over a period of one second so in conclusion what this is going to do is that it's going to ease in the element with an opacity of 0.4 initially until it becomes opacity 1 within a duration of one second. Let's now save and test. Refresh. And here, let's type, how are you? And if I click on send, as you can see, it takes one second easing in from an opacity of 0.4 to one. Let's try again, hi, hi, and then send. As you can see, it starts with an opacity of 0.4 easing in and it will end with opacity 1 over 1 second. And this is uh, better in terms of user experience. We want to make sure that the user likes our application.